Hi everybody. So Karen and I are deciding to possibly get rid of our phones, downgrading them to flip phones. That way, with everything going on in the world, it's so bad. And with all of the new technology, even with maps, they're starting to really follow everyone and follow what everyone is doing. And that is a complete breach of privacy that we are not willing to accept just to be up to date with the cool new technology. We don't give a fuck about any of that kind of stuff. None of it matters to us. What matters is each other, our farm, our animals, our family, and our friends, you know, and being prepared for what's going to come and being followed by the government isn't something that we care for, especially since we're part of the rebellion. We do follow Q and we will fight anyone who tries to take any of our freedoms away. Uh, physically, we will fight. We are prepared to, to take you down. And if you have bad intentions stepping foot onto this property, our pigs will be getting a fantastic meal that night. So we're really, really just done with everything. And uh, so we're looking at getting flip phones, but not completely disconnecting because how how does one really survive without it? Is it doable? Yes, but we're not interested in making our life harder, but we do want to make it better. So what we'll probably end up doing is getting a tablet that's just laying out on the counter in whatever apps that we need to access uh, will be there. You know, but we're not going to be sitting on our phones anymore. We're not going to be on social media anymore. We're so tired of all of the crap that's, I mean, even marketing is so bad these days. And honestly, it's, they're really mood, they, they really affect, especially my mood. I am easily influenced when it comes to my mood and lots of things will just piss me off. Like if I'm on Instagram, for example. And I see a hashtag of hair dye and this massive whale of a human, completely unhealthy, gets on there half naked with like just a little bit of hair dye in her, in her hair. And that's like, I don't want to see that. That that pisses me off. Unhealthy lifestyles are not okay. And there's other people on there saying, oh, you're beautiful. You're go You're not. You're not beautiful and you're not gorgeous. You're overweight. You're unhealthy and you're not going to make it to 42. Okay. There's nothing beautiful about that. You need to go see a doctor and you need to hit the gym and stay away from sweets, okay? Moving on from that, I got an email today from a candle company that I used to buy my candles from. And they're not cheap candles either, but they smell amazing and they last. And um, the, the very first subject line word was ID. It was like, I don't give a fuck, but it was the letters. And I'm like sitting there. So I wrote him back and I'm like, I don't give a fuck is what you're sending me in my emails? No, no, none of this is okay. You trying to be hip and up with the times is, is unbecoming. It's, you know, the lack of professionalism in marketing nowadays drives me through the roof. Like, and I, by no means am I saying I'm a professional, right? But when I set up my business, I will be professional about it. When I get on our business site, and that's my Airbnb that I'm talking about. When we get on, on our website and we're selling wood to clients and, and construction companies, I am professional. And out here in the South, you really don't need to be as professional as a lot of other bigger cities. But I came from a bigger city, so I will bring some of that with me. A lot of it, I, I truly appreciate learning because I wasn't always that way, you know? So I went from being kind of like, a, you know, a country girl with ripped jeans and flannel shirts to wearing a suit and heels and looking perfect to coming back to the ripped jeans and flannel, you know? But in that professional life, I brought back with me a sense of professionalism and how to appropriately, you know, reach out to your clients or customers or guests or whatever they may be. So anyway, so that just, uh, there's a lot in the, in the world, especially with like, with my husband, you know, fighting in Afghanistan and, and Kabul for the majority of his human 
Damn it. I, <laughs> I do that. I say human instead of adult. Um, for the majority of his adult life, he spent overseas fighting for a war and lost his best friend, who we're naming our first child after. All for what? You know, so it's like we we're done. We're done. If we could like create our own country with actual free freedom, we would. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're looking at just complete, not completely disconnecting, but really just disconnecting. That way, we're not constantly grabbing our phones. You know, there's no silences in the in the house when you're just you're zoomed in your phone. You know, we're really big on uh, we don't watch TV, but we do have a TV for games. You know, we do like to game together. Uh, if it's like rainy outside and there's nothing actually to do, we will sit and game. Uh, we have board games, card games that we absolutely love to sit and do together. Um, I actually really love to play board games in the mornings. Because I feel like that's a really good way to start your day. Um, you know, and then there's always things that you can be doing that, honestly, your phone takes you away from. And there's there's no, there's no room for that in a real life. In a real, in your, I guess in your real life. Yeah, there's, there really isn't. And these people... These, these people are age millennials and they're all watching their, their stupid phones and stupid reality TV show. They're allowing their kids to be on tablets. First of all, that's bullshit. Your kids should not be on a tablet. Like, oh my gosh, I went to the store today and this happens every time where I'm seeing these kids in a basket, fully capable. They have two hands and they're on their freaking tablet rather than helping their parents load up the groceries. That is not okay. What... What possesses you to think that that is okay? It's not. Your kids should not have a phone and they should not have a tablet. Our children are going to get their asses outside working and they'll be rewarded. They'll have a, an amazing life, but they'll have, an, they'll have a successful life. But they're not going to be on their stupid tablets. And come, come the day where they're out and about in the world, they'll get a flip phone. Because they just need to call us for emergencies. They don't need a tablet and they don't need a freaking smartphone. I, I can't stand it. If I ever see videos of people with their kids on their phones, I literally want to scream at them and be like, you're fucking stupid. And if you're my friend and you have kids and you're and they're on the tablets, I don't really have anything else to say. Like, if we're friends, we're friends and you're going to be an, an adult and look past that. That's my opinion. And if you don't like it, you can get over it. But we don't need to have a rift in our friendship because you don't like what I said. Okay, we're not freaking little snowflakes and Trump here. You're going to get over it and then you're going to be like, okay, well, she's, if that's her opinion. But hey, you know what? We're still cool because I'm not going to let that bother me. <sighs> that's how it should be, right? That's how it should be. Um, Let's see, anything else? <laughs> there's just there's just too much and as you can see here I'm being riled up because I'm thinking about all these things piss me off it's like social media is so dumb like all these chicks are on Instagram like wording things that that they're not even saying they'll like take quotes from somebody and they'll sit there and like mouth it or like that weird thing that people are doing where they're on there and they're like when people are asking me questions and they're like and they're like, point, like, what are you, what are you doing? Like, you're making money for this? Like, I can't even believe it. Like, this drives me crazy. I can't even handle it. Oh, what are you, you just look like a bimbo. Like, and people love it. They like eat it up. I don't get it. <laughs> like, I'm sitting there and I'm like, people actually like this. That's so weird. Or like the other chicks that get up there and they're just like dancing. And, and then, and then that's it. And they're getting, like, thousands of likes and love. And it's like, what the fuck is going on in our world today? I'm out here getting all, like, my nails were perfect this morning. They were perfect, and now they're not. And they're dirty because I'm in the middle of hosing off potatoes that I just dug with my own hands out of the garden. I am rinsing potatoes. <sighs> I just, I, I have an old soul. And I have an older mentality. And I'm not saying I, I am mature by any means. That, that's different. What I'm saying is I just have a, an older mentality. 
And that just means my priorities are a little bit more different. You know, you're off watching Desperate Housewives and I'm in the kitchen canning and cleaning the fruits and vegetables that we just pulled from our garden. You know, like, uh, you know, I'm paying attention to the world politics and you're sitting there, you know, like trying to draw eyebrows perfectly on your arm. What are you doing? <laughs> So that kind of stuff just drives me crazy and I can't just look at it and be like, hmm, that's stupid, next. Like I, I can't because it's, that's what's wrong with the world and society nowadays. It's people like that that are, that are so disconnected from reality and so disconnected from what's actually going on in our world and in our country and in our states that you know, it's, it's brainwashed and I don't know this, I'm getting a little off topic here, but I truly, truly recommend watching the artist Tom McDonald. He is phenomenal and nails everything. He's a, he's a, he's a, so he's a rapper and I actually don't like rap, but I really like him and I really, really love and appreciate his message because he's real and honest about it. And he knows things because of where he's put himself and other people can't do and air out what he airs out because they'll actually get in trouble or killed or or whatever facts people you think I'm crazy look it up and um so he's he's an amazing artist and his song even like brainwash and snowflakes and all the more recent political related songs that he puts out are just on point so if you can't sit there and do your research at least listen to him because at least you'll get a, a, a little bit of what the hell is going on? And he is not wrong, okay? And you're gonna sit there and be like, there's crazy, he's out there. He's he's one of those, wear the tin foil. And he even says that in one of his, I'm sorry guys, but he's not wrong. And actually, you know, I take that back. I'm, I'm not sorry. I, I'm not sorry about any of it. He hits everything on the nose. So, <sighs> this is why I think I need to disconnect. <laughs> Because I can't get hip. I can't get with the times. I don't want to. I think it's stupid. I think all those people on Instagram are stupid. They just look dumb. TikTok, I've never had a TikTok in my life. I don't even really know what that is. I kind of do just because of Instagram. I think it's just little clips of people being stupid. Some of them are funny, but there are people. And even my, even my, I know, okay, actually, I'm not going to say who, but he is last steps on somebody I know his last steps on just sat there on TikTok for hours and hours and hours just sitting and watching these videos and not doing anything and I think their brothers are very similar and all they do is work to get money for games and repeat like that's 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 what their life consists of and they're not none of those people are gonna go anywhere in life you know, and this, this man that I know has tried to help them and they, they're not all there enough to, to realize what he is doing was the right thing to do. And they should have taken his advice and listened, but you know, but they're too busy being brainwashed and stupid watching these, these videos. And I just, I, I cannot, I cannot wrap my head around it. Some of them are funny. Yes. I love animals. I love watching animals on videos do funny things. I'm not a freaking robot here. Like, I'm normal. I get it. But you have to understand uh, the line and when to, to stop doing it and get your ass up and actually go turn yourself into a fucking man. Okay? Or a woman that's actually doing something productive with herself, using her brain rather than her body. You know, there's so many chicks out there like... You know, like, let me spread this message. Like, I just want to be the best, da, da da and her boobs are hanging out. And it's like, oh, my God. Like, seriously? I'm in a T-Rex shirt. Granted, there have been videos I've posted, and I, I'm wearing a tank top, and I've, I've got the girls hanging out. Like, it is okay to love your body, but to use it, but to use it to get more likes, to get more attention, to get more focus on you for whatever you think you're actually supporting. You know, you just, y'all look dumb. Why are y'all so stupid? I don't think I even sang that right. It's another Tom McDonald song. He's amazing. He's, he's freaking great. 
That's awesome. So listen to him. If you, you just can't put it, you know, together and you can't just research yourself, just listen to him because he pretty much just covers it all, honestly. But disconnecting. You need to disconnect. And some of you are going to sit there and look at me like a crazy person. My hair is wild. Like, my house is a mess. And go ahead. Call me crazy. I, I don't care. You know, I, I know where I'm at. I know that I'm safe and comfortable. And I'm not relying on anything to keep me alive. Oh, you know, I'm not. I've got... We, we're ready here. We're set. My husband and I have, and he is brilliant. His, his IQ is, is impressive. But we are prepared. And so many people are out there, I'm prepared. Are you? Do you even know how to can? Do you even have any canned food? Do you have a garden? Like that, first of all, that's that. Like, do you have animals? Are you breeding your animals? Are they going to be a like a, like a one-time thing or a, the rest of your life kind of thing. You know, are you hatching them? Are you chickens? Like, are you hatching your own chickens to create more meat, to create more eggs? Are you breeding your pigs? Are you breeding your cows? Are you, are you milking your cow? Are you milking your goats? Are you turning your goat milk into cheese? You know, are you doing, do you do all these things? Because the question, you might have all the ammo in the world and all the guns, but you can't sit and tell me that that's all you have and that you're ready. You're not ready. Another part of that too is just your neighbors. You know, like a community. Having everyone be good at something. <sighs> Dorian, stay off my car! <laughs> um, speaking of animals, I have a lot of them and they're crazy. That was the cat trying to jump up on my car, on my SUV. Scratch, didn't make it. So, look at me like I'm crazy all you want. But I hope you got a game plan. I hope you do. I don't wish ill upon anyone. The only thing I've been saying to people are, one day, you're going to look at me and say, oh shit. Maybe I should have listened. And I already have one person doing that. One out of, um, well, there's a whole bunch of people doing it. But me specifically, I'm just talking about like my close friends from California. And the majority of them don't really have their heads on right. Oh, no, this one's from Washington. So, oh, especially nobody there has their head on right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I Washington State's the worst. Oh, it's horrible. Seattle freeze. Not about the weather. It's about the people. Um... So I've got one girlfriend from Washington that I've been trying, I've been this whole time, I'm telling you girl, I'm telling you girl, no, no, I, I don't like Trump because of his tweets. His tweets are mean. That's why you fucking voted for him. That's not why you vote for a president. You, you don't vote against somebody. Oh my God. Anyways, that's a whole other story. But she's finally, and I've been coming to her too. Do you regret it yet? No. Do you regret it yet? No. Finally, after all these people have been killed, our people, our men, our women, and the families of the interpreters and the interpreters themselves have all been dying because of this fucking dumbass that's in presidency right now. And finally, she's like, yeah, fucked up. I know. I told you this would happen before he was even fucking elected. <sighs> people. So, I have to get back to cleaning potatoes, and then I have to go through and get rid of some of the other food that we had, and that needs to go to the pigs. So, I have a lot of adult things to be doing right now, and I'm going to go do them. So, comment down below. Let me know what you think, and um, be mean all you want if you want. It doesn't bother me. It's not going to start a little comment war. I'm just going to ignore you. Because if if you're not already, like, getting it and waking up from all this, your negative comments aren't going to affect me because somebody like you is just on a whole other level. And that level's, like, down here. So I'm not going to sit and, like, 
belittle a rock because it just doesn't make any sense. So that's literally how I'm going to view your negative comments is I just, it's, it's not going to mean anything to me. But if you want to go ahead and vent and call me crazy, that's just fine. If you have anything other, uh, uh, anything else other than that to say, anything positive, absolutely comment. I'd be very, very curious about what all of y'all have to say. Um, and yeah. Yeah, let me know how you're ready and uh, how you guys are doing. I'm curious. Let me know if you guys have done any disconnecting from social media or your phones. Um, I'm just curious to see how everybody's doing through all this. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. <laughs> have a good one. I'm going to go get dirty again. <laughs>